Hey, English 94, it's me, Professor Shante White Williams, and welcome to our very first day of class this summer. So I've already gotten a couple of questions that I want to address before I get into what you're going to be working on this week. The first is that this class meets asynchronously, which means there's no one set time that you have to log in, no one set time that we're going to all come together and talk. There are no standard class times or meeting days at all. Some people are going to be like, yay, that's awesome. Other people are going to be like, man, that means that I have to be more disciplined myself. Yes, so both of those things are true. So each Tuesday, just like today, you'll get a video and an email from me, and it'll explain to you what you should be doing that week. But when you do it in that week, for the most part, is completely up to you, so long as you get everything done before next Monday. Typically in our class, you get your assignments on Tuesday and you have the entire week and weekend to do whatever it is that you need to do within those parameters. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to start today. This video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to go over everything. I know being in online classes can be a little intimidating, so I want to make sure that you have the information to be able to access all of the things that you're going to need. For the most part, everything that we're going to do this week We'll touch a little bit all of the technology, all of the folders that we're going to use throughout the semester. So if we can get through this week and you can access everything, then you'll know and I'll know that moving forward, you know how to get to everything. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is open up our class space in Google. That link has been given to you in this email as I sent it to you. It's also available to you in the announcements in Brightspace. Almost every single thing that we do this semester will be in this Google space. So save it somewhere in the notes on your phone, bookmark it, however you want to. But this is what we're going to use to do our, our work in our online class. All right, so let's get started. All right, so if you click that link and you're following along with me as you're watching this video or listening to this video, then this is what our class Google space looks like. There are four things listed, and then we have three additional folders of information. Each week on Tuesday, you're going to want to click where it says weekly assignments and discussions. It even says start here each week. It's number one thing, so that's where we're going to start. So when you open this up, just like I said in our previous video, you'll see that it has the instructions at the top. They'll stay there. We're going to move on to week one because that's where we are. After I finish recording this video, I typically put the link up here in case you want to come back to it as you're working through some of these items. So each week, there'll be something for you to read, watch, write, and discuss. This week's reading are your syllabus. It's really important to know what you're getting into in the class, what the attendance requirements are, what the book requirements are, uh, what the assignments and the points are. So hey, here we go. This is the book for our class. It's The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. In our class, we're required to read one full-length novel, and we're going to read it. It's a pretty awesome book. I've read it about eight times myself. There's lots of ways to get the book. The first is to purchase it in the bookstore. It's available in the bookstore on Belleville, but it's a pretty popular book. You can probably get it in almost any bookstore. You can definitely get it on Amazon. And I've even put links in our assignment folders and our reading folders to a free PDF version, but it's harder to read a book online like that as well as to some audiobook links. Because me personally, I like to listen to books too, particularly when I'm working out, when I'm walking, or when I'm driving and it just ain't safe to be reading a book. You want to think about time management. So read your syllabus. The next thing you're going to do is watch a video all about self-identity. After you watch that video, I really suggest that you go ahead and click in the Google Folders link and open up the first writing assignment. It's not a real writing assignment, it's a mini writing assignment, and it's all just about you. So watch the video, and then you're going to write me 200, 250 words or so about yourself so that we can start getting to know each other in this online class. In that same bin, like keeping that same idea of self-identity, which is our theme for this week moving forward, we're going to do our discussion. All of our discussions take place right here in this document. So for this week's discussion, it says reply to my comment. If you click on the orange part where it says my comment, it makes my comment bigger over here on the right so that you can see it. 
And then you can read what I've said about me personally and what I think about my self-identity. So once you've done that, you're going to reply to my comment. When you reply to my comment, write in your first name so that I know who you are. And in this class, we have a couple of people who have the same name. I know we have two Mercedes, and I think we have two Crystals. So make sure that you put in your first name and your last initial if you're one of those people. Um, but beyond that, I just want a paragraph or so that explains what self-identity means to you. I've put some bullet points down here for things for you to think about. You can choose to answer one of them or none of them. Do your own thing. I just thought it might be helpful since it's the first week to give you a little bit of direction. So once you read my comment over here to the left, let me move my face out the way. You'll see it says reply, right? So once you reply, uh, you'll put in your things that you want to tell me about your self-identity here. And then just press reply and we'll get a list of everybody's going down inside for you to be able to look at and read and respond to. We're going to do this part every week in this class, right? So there'll be a list of things for you to do. There'll be a discussion post and then you'll reply to my comment. I'm going to do it with you every week. So you're always going to be replying to my comment and you will be able to see each other's comments. So keep that in mind. If there's something you don't want anybody else to know, this is not the place to put it. In fact, if there's something that you want to be private just between me and you, you should always send that just in email. All right, so that's pretty much the overview for the week. There are a couple other things I wanted to show you while I have you here. So, all right, so I've come back to our main page. Again, this is our class Google space. We looked at the very first thing, which is our weekly assignments where we're gonna be doing our discussions. Hopefully over the weekend, you look at the syllabus and the full calendar, but if you haven't yet, please do that as well. I would like us to take a second to just look at the student Google folders. If you click this link, this is where we're gonna house all of the assignments that you'll be writing as you're reading this semester. Everyone in the class should have their own folder. So the first thing I would do once you get in here, if I were you, was to make sure that you have a folder somewhere in here, find your name. If you don't, let me know immediately so I can create you one. Sometimes I make mistakes too, so I appreciate you all double checking. In your folder, you'll see right now, and I'm just randomly picking somebody, you only have one thing, right? The first thing that you're gonna work on, this is just a practice, you're just talking about yourself, right? But as you move forward, you'll have more things. So I'm opening up the folder with my name on it because these are all of the things that we're gonna do before the end of the semester. So by the end of the semester, once we're about six weeks into this, you'll have all of these items in your Google folder. The way that they work is pretty simple. When you click on the title of the assignment that you're doing, and again, this week is first week practice, you'll see that you can write in this doc if you want to. In fact, I've told you to type in your name. So if you click right where I'm clicking here, you see it? Behind the word it says name, I can just write in Shantae, right? I can fill in all these information. There's also a line down here that says begin writing here, right? So I can just highlight that, take it out, and start saying whatever it is I want to say, right? Google is going to save. It's going to save everything that you write. You don't have to email it to me. You don't have to worry about it. Anything that you put in here, it's going to save automatically so that I can see it. And then you don't have to worry about losing it or submitting it. I do try to make the technology as easy as I can when I can. <laughs> that doesn't always happen, but I do try. So that is what our Google folders look like. And that's how we use them. Just a couple of other things that I wanted to show you while I got you. And that is going to be our writing assignments folder. For some of you that are curious about what we're going to do and what these assignments look like moving forward, or if you want to work ahead, they're there for you to look at. Um, so just wanted you to see that as well. I really think that's about it. Lord knows this video is long enough. Normally, they'll only be a couple of minutes long, but as I said, this is the first one. So I just wanted to make sure that I go over everything. The last thing I'll say, and it'll probably be the last thing that I say each time, is that this class is autonomous, meaning that you really are working on your own, but you do have a professor. Please feel free to ask me any questions, send as many emails. You're not going to get on my nerves. I'm not going to think anything badly of you because you shouldn't be out there just frustrated by yourself. 
Okay. Now, with that said, it's my summer too. That doesn't mean I'm always going to get back to you as fast as you would like, but I am going to always get back to you. So wait, don't get too frustrated with the computer. Just ask me the questions and I'll walk you through it. And if we need to set up a meeting, just me and you and Zoom, or I walk you through some things, we'll do that as well. So I hope each of you have a great first week. If I don't see you working in this Google Drive, trust I will be contacting you via email and phone because I truly believe in people passing my classes. So good luck to you. And again, email me if you need me.